All right, so you saw us stab and shoot these vests. And uh, now we're going to see how many layers we penetrated. Figured we'd do that in a closed, a closed environment. So this is the Safe Life Defense 3A Enhanced. This was manufactured uh, August 20th of 2020. Five year warranty, uh, spike level one rated 3A plus, size large. And so this is the one we stabbed. So I'm gonna cut this thing open with, uh, with my knife. So as you saw, the one knife really did a number slashing this thing and we've got layers of Kevlar in here. So we've got our layers of Kevlar. So this is layer one. So layer one, we were able to slash. We did some poking and some, and some slashing. And so first layer here, uh, first layer of Kevlar, we were able to, just about every knife that we hit this with did some kind of damage to it, uh, poking it, stabbing it, slashing it. Second layer, so this is layer two, we definitely slashed through layer two, but not as significant, and we punctured layer two. Layer three, we have slash evidence on here and we also have stab evidence on here from that Columbia River uh, knife. So we are on to layer four. The slash, we a little bit of slash destruction on the fourth layer and stab on the fourth layer. The fifth layer of this vest, the, none of the slashes made it through the fifth layer of the vest, though we do have quite a few stab uh, holes in it still. Now we're on to six and we have quite a few quite a few stab not as many it's it, it's slowly reducing on six seven I could almost count the stab penetrations in this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one uh, stab marks uh, penetration through the seventh layer layer eight just about as many I mean I can't see through them but I can definitely see them so then we're gonna go into layer nine I know there was one I kinda got I got in at least a quarter inch into the vest so we still have penetration from the pointed knife on layer nine we're on to layer ten now Layer 10 only has one, two, three, four, five, six penetration. It has six. I don't know if you can see these, but they're really small, but there's six. Six for layer 10, layer 11. We still have the six on the 11th layer of Kevlar, 12. I always wonder what the dude in the factory was doing when he put the stray mark on the piece of the Kevlar and what they mean. All right, so I've got one, two, three. I've got three significant stab marks on this vest. I don't know if you might be able to see them if I backlight this vest. So if I backlight the vest, can you see the, the black? Yeah. You can see the black dots? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one here. That's, there's one right here. There's one right here that's significant. All right, so we're on layer 12, and this is for the stab. We, this is only for the stab. Yep, we're still penetrating. That's that one I got super, super, super deep. It's right there. It's right there. On the 14th layer, it's still there. 15, I can see it. It's right there. 16, six, 16 layer, 17. Mmm. Yep. 17th layer is there. But it's not as significant. So, we're on the 18th layer. And... There's nothing. So, 
We made it through eight. We made it through 17 layers of Kevlar with a knife. How's that make you feel about wearing this or buying it? All right, we stabbed the living crap out of this thing, and our best attempt only made it to the 17th layer. 18th layer is clean, and if we flip it over, you can see that there's no penetration through the back foam layer. We weren't able to per to to penetrate this vest. So 36 layers stabbing this vest. This is a spike level one rating and you know you saw me literally stab this thing quite a bit and we only penetrated through 17 layers you know that first layer is brutal imagine if that was your body imagine if that was your body and I mean you can see all the spike where you know how many times I stabbed you you know, I stabbed you a good 50, 60 times, and I slashed you. I slashed you significantly to penetrate that those first few layers of Kevlar. And this protected you. You walk away with nothing. This didn't need the, the knives and in, in the, the sharp instruments that we used didn't even penetrate halfway through this vest. So I definitely say it's past 150% the stab test, the stab test which is reason 854 on why I'm running this vest. Now we're gonna do the vest that we shot. Now in this test, we simulated um, officer or agent down in an agent down configuration and standing over the individual and shooting down on them versus being on a flat range and, and taking that hit directly. We did a lot of angle shooting at this. And we shot this vest a, a bunch. So um, we're gonna go layer by layer and find the bullets that we shot. So here we go. All right, so here we go. Let's cut this, let's cut this apart. We've got our Ziploc bag for our bullets. And here we go. Last time we did this, um, I didn't shoot this, but I did this exact same thing. And it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I definitely want to show you guys the way that this vest handles bullets. And the reason I put my wife in it, I put my family in it, and I put my teammates in it. All right. So, all right, I'm going to get this out of this vest. And I can already see in... And I'll show it to this camera here. There's a whole bunch of bullets trapped right there. All right, so we're going to pull this out. We are pulling this out. Now, we shredded the living crap out of this thing. Um, we really shredded up the um, top portion here with the angle shooting, and we shredded the Kevlar. But guess what? No bullets went through it. All right, so, so here we go. So first level, we've got a bullet. We've got a nine millimeter round trapped in that first level. Now, granted, it probably went through multiple levels, but it bounced back out. That's the way the bullet looks coming out of the firearm. And you can tell we did it at an angle because if you look at the bullet and the way the bullet hit, the bullet hit at a 45 degree angle, right? In the bullet mushrooms and it stopped. So first bullet. So layer one. All right, so have, we have another bullet. Look at that bullet. It's like perfect, perfect flat mushroom. But yet, again, you can see it's at a 45 degree angle because we shot the vest at an angle. I wanted to see, I wanted, the reason I shot the vest the way I did is because I wanted to see how an angle, a downward projectile at an angle, if it would ricochet and exit the vest. No bullets exited the vest. The vest caught all the bullets at a 45 degree angle. And it's evident by the bullet here. This bullet fell out, so we're not going to know where that bullet came out of. So all the bullets penetrated the first level, which we'd expect it to. I mean, we really wouldn't expect, I mean, what kind of, you know, what a, you know, a piece of steel is about the only thing that's going to be able to, to, to stop that. So we have the first level of the vest that is just shredded. I'm going to be really careful doing this. 
because I want to try and capture all the bullets. All right, so first level. So now we got the second level. And, it's, and if you saw on this camera angle here, um, when I pulled off that, what did we find? We found a bullet. We're going to keep finding bullets. That bullet, it's at a downward angle of a, of a, of a 45 degree angle. I'm, you know, I'm no geometry expert, okay? You know, I'm barely graduated high school. So, so whatever angle that is, it's at an angle, you know, so the bullet didn't hit the vest at, at a 90 degree angle. It hit it at, a, at an off angle, 45 degree angle or greater. And the, it captured it. Now it looks like, and I'm no ballistic expert, but it looks like it penetrated more than two levels of the, of the Kevlar, but the bullet was found on the second level of the Kevlar. So we found one bullet there. All right, we're going to peel back. So we have, if you can see here, um, there is a bullet. We did a significant level of damage there. So here's a bullet right here um, that was just sitting on the second level of the Kevlar. And it's still in its jacket. You can't even tell this thing was a... So you can see this bullet here is still pretty much intact. All right, so we're going to the third, up third level. Look, we already got a bullet. Uh, camera, can can you see? Can you see that right there? There's a bullet right there. All right, so we've got at least one bullet on the third level of the Kevlar. Imagine being the person that was shot here. Whew. Imagine being the person. It's cool because as we're peeling this off, I can see there's another bullet sticking out here. So the bullets tried to penetrate, but they lost the they lost enough significant energy to not be able to exit the vest, so the vest captured it. This, this is perfect, perfect, um, perfect mushrooming. Look at that, perfect. That's a nice looking bullet. So we got one that came through the third level here. And that looks like it. So we're on to the third level of Kevlar. So, all right, we got a lot of bullets here. Okay, all right, something really cool here is happening. So this bullet right here is caught, where is it? Oh, it's just a fragment. It's just a fragment of the copper jacket. It's just a fragment of the copper jacket uh, between the third and the fourth layer. Granted, remember how many times we shot this thing and we've only found one, two, three, four, five bullets. So we've, on the fourth layer, we have two fragments of bullets. So we just have two fragments of the bullet. Nothing else on the fourth layer here. Ooh, fifth layer, fifth layer. Fifth layer's got bullets. So the fifth layer, we've got two bullets. We've got another bullet. It looks kind of like a little shoe because of the angle we hit it at. It looks like a little shoe. And so we've got two bullets on the fifth layer. On the fifth layer, I've got two. That all appears to be what's there. Now we can see bullet holes in penetration. That's gone deeper. Oh, here we go. We're going to get to a layer here where there's going to be a lot of bullets because that's going to be about the maximum penetration into the vest. So we're on to the sixth layer. Sixth layer, we have multiple bullets. On the sixth layer, we've got multiple fragments. We've got a bullet resting at the bottom here. We also have a bullet that is in mid-layer, which is where probably those fragments are coming from. And then we have additional penetration through there. So I don't know about you guys, but this is pretty cool stuff, especially knowing that I wear this thing. So I've got one, two bullets and frags. Collect all those pieces. I mean, you know, think of the energy in the foot pounds coming out of these, you know, this copper jacket was knocked completely off the lead bullet. And there's what's your left of your lead bullet. Imagine that, imagine that being inside you and the kind of damage that all those pieces of, of fragments of the bullet and the energy and, and the bullet breaking up when it hits bone 
um, in your body and the damage that it could do. And then that lead's left in you. All right. We're into the seventh layer. Seventh layer, what do we find? We find a bullet in the seventh layer. But it, as you... As you're looking at it versus the first layer, there were a lot more holes in it. Now we're starting to see less holes. We've got one bullet in a fragment. This bullet's, this bullet's totally beat to crap. And you can tell that it hit down at an angle there. You can tell that, that we were shooting it with the angle. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but hey, I'm old and I like to repeat myself. So what we have here is the seventh layer. And if you look, if you look here, right through the seventh layer we can see a bullet so chances are that bullets probably going to be on the eighth layer so seventh layer we got one I also see a bullet sitting right here and sure enough we are to the eighth layer are you finding this fascinating Noah yeah how do you not if you wear these things for a living how do you not find this fascinating all right so we got a bullet here we got a bullet there I also see a bullet that looks like it's caught in the layer itself. So, got a, so I've got one. Look at look at, look at the. I mean, it, it's like it hit a, it's like it hit a brick wall. And we're only on the eighth layer. And then I've got a bullet that looks like it's caught in in the layer, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you'd call that eight or nine. Well, let's just say eight. So, oh, it's it's actually wound up in the level in the layer here. There's another round I didn't even see that's caught that the layer that that the that the bullet is caught. Oh, look at that. That's like pretty pristine. You see, it hit at an angle. You can tell by the, um, the the deformity of the tip there, and then the it got wound up in the Kevlar level because you can see it literally got wound up. That the Kevlar, the Kevlar grabbed it and stopped it. It's stopping that energy. I mean, the energy of this nine millimeters coming out, you know, a thousand feet per second, and and. Uh, and 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 the vest is capturing that energy. And stopping that bullet. Pretty cool stuff. So here on layer nine, layer nine, we've got at least two bullets. Here we here again showing you the example of hitting that at an angle. We found quite a few bullets that look this way. So we've got the copper jacket coming off on this and pieces of the copper jacket throughout. So we got two bullets in nine. Oop, found, finding more bullets. Alrighty. So we're on to layer 10. And how many layers do we have? 30 what? 30. No, we got more than that. We got 36. 36, 36 layers? So here we are on the 10th layer. Got another bullet. Kind of came in a little hotter. Don't know which gun that was shot out of. Got one. But yet, you know, some bullets made it through more layers than others. We're through the 10th layer. And, ten, and the 11th layer has zero. No bullets trapped within the 11th layer. But we definitely have bullets that have penetrated the 11th. Going on to 12. Got nothing. Got nothing in 12. 12th layer, we've got nothing. Now, here we go. Here we go. All right. Layer 13. I can see a lot of copper here in layer 13. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven or eight bullets in this layer that are stopped. So, so what do we got? Are they, are they caught in the layer or are they in the layer below? Right. 
And this looks pretty cool here. So when I lift this layer, you can see that bullet's trapped within the layer. That the, right there, that 13th layer. And you can barely see it there, but it's, but it's right there. And we've got multiple bullets. We've got one, two, three, four. Some of these fell. Five. The, the sheets, the, the fabric design on the Kevlar um, really, it, it captures these bullets. One, two, three, four, five. I can see more bullets, but it looks like we only have five on this layer. So this layer has had the most. So lifting it up, um, I've got six, six here. Now, if you look at... I'll shine a little light through here with my O-Light. I mean, you can, you can see, I mean, you've got, still got protection in the side, but no protection on the chest. So if you're getting hit multiple times and the Kevlar is getting destroyed, you still have protection in your flank sides here. But this piece of Kevlar um, is, you know, not a lot of protection there after, after being shot up. The 14th layer, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five bullets for sure trapped in here um, and some fragments. This bullet, I mean, crazy, right? So, I mean, you saw, you saw me cut this open. We won't, really don't have any breaks for edit's sake. Here you've got one bullet flattened like a mushroom, and then you've got another bullet that's almost pristine out of the gun. Now, granted, I don't know, Nathan and I were using the same ammo, we were using different guns. My gun had a longer barrel, had a 4.7 inch barrel, so I get a little bit more velocity depending on what gun he was shooting with. But, I mean, same layer, look at that, bullets are totally different. All right, here's another one showing you, showing you that downward angle trajectory that we were hitting with. And then, last but not least, so we're going from 14 to 15. All right, so that was layer 14. Oh, oh, just found some more bullets. So here on the 15th layer, we've got one, two, three, four bullets just sitting there. And you can see we've got a lot of destruction still on the vest. And they're all different. We've got two one way and two a different way. I wonder if that is a gun, um, if, if that is a gun difference. I'm going to set those aside. So four. So this is the 15th layer. We found four bullets at this layer. Oh, check this out. It never ceases to amaze me here what we keep finding. So we were on the 16th layer. And what's on the 16th layer? Just one bullet, just chilling. I mean, this bullet, it's got a little bit of, de it's got a bit, little bit of deformity, but not much. And it's still intact. We're not even halfway through this vest. 17 has zero. Oh, here we go. Found another one. So we are to the 18th layer. Is that in the layer or underneath the layer? That's underneath the layer. So 18 has zero. 19. We're to the 19th layer. And how many bullets do we have? So we have one. We've captured two in night. 19th layer has captured two, two bullets. Pretty much the bullets look identical. Uh, call me a liar. Lydia, call me a liar. 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 All right, we have three bullets. So we had three th through the 19th layer. 20th layer has none. 21, so we've got two bullets on 21 for sure. And then just chilling out over here on the 22nd layer is one bullet. No, no bullets on 23, but we have a lot of deformity, but no bullets. Now, granted, I would say that the bullet penetrated that many layers if it shredded it up like that, but there's no, I don't think there's any more bullets here. Uh, 24, and now look at that, 25. If you look at the, oh, found a bullet. So, not a lot has, um penetrated that 
All right, so 26th layer, we found a bullet on the 26th layer. I didn't think any more bullets were in here. But yet, here we are. 27, nothing. 28, nothing. 29, 30. So we're almost at the end here. In the 30th, there is no holes in that whatsoever. 31. 31, 32, 33, no bullet, no bullet, 34, no bullet, 35, no bullet, 36, no bullet. There's thir now granted, this doesn't look like the knife layers. And there is trauma to the integrity of the Kevlar there. But guess what? There isn't. There are no holes. There are no holes at all. Now, we did shoot one through the neck. Um, don't know what angle it hit at. But we didn't have any perforations in the integrity of the red. So there's no, there's no holes through the vest. But at, at that angle that we hit down... Um, we might have not caught the uh, where all the layers were. There might have been a little gap there where a bullet got through. But we were pushing this thing to see if we could get it to fail. And um, mighty impressed. I mean, if I don't know if the camera angle does the justice on this. But you can see that this trauma pad is, I mean, it's had significant trauma to it. But we don't have any penetration of any bullets in center mass for that so safe life defense what more can i say um we shot it with 10 ounces i just weighed this 10 ounces 10 ounces of lead T 10 ounces of lead that i shot that best with and that nathan and i shot that best with and it captured every bullet I think one got away up at the top of the neck um, and made it through an area that didn't have the 36 layers of Kevlar. There's, these are 3A. They'll stop all handguns. You want to see, watch the link below. We shot it with, um, with a whole bunch more calibers. We shot, it with, we shot it with 10 ounces of lead that came out. Every bullet, for the most part, is deformed in one way or another. Some bullets mushroomed, some bullets didn't. Um, most of the bullets, you can tell, we shot it at a downward angle. We were trying to do something different than everybody else and saying, okay, you're on the ground, you're in a fight for your life, you're up engaging um, from a prone position, and you're getting shot at from somebody standing directly over you. I mean, we didn't shoot these things at far distances. We shot it, you know, we shot it, at, you know, less than five feet, pounding those bullets into that vest, and that vest sat there and it took them and it captured them. It captured the bullets. It not only, it not only stopped the bullets from penetrating the human or our simulated human, but it captured the bullets. And I was really worried, you know, maybe a bullet would get in there and like travel out um, off to the side and stuff. But this vest, it captured the bullets. Highly impressive. Use our discount code Bounty Hunter Ten save ten percent. Um, wear this vest. Uh, do a do a video. Um, post it to your social media at the end of wearing this thing for 30 days. You're going to see this is going to be one of the most comfortable vests that you've ever worn, if not the most comfortable vest. And you'll see why we totally believe and stand behind Safe Life Defense. Captured all the bullets that we shot it. It captured. It captured. It captured the bullets. What more can I say? That's, the, that's what you want this vest to do. You get into a shooting with this vest. You're going to replace this vest. You're not going to keep it. You know, you're not going to say, well, I got shot with it. It's my lucky vest now. No, you need to get rid of it. You need to get a new vest. So special shout out to everybody at Safe Life Defense for sending us a vest that we could just utterly destroy. 36 layers in these vests, guys. 36 layers. We have yet to get anything other than a, a, a bullet that's not rated for these vests to penetrate these vests. And everything that they're rated for, it stops it and it stops it fast. It stops it fast. That bullet doesn't travel through 
Um, and uh, no, just yeah. Every time I do these things, it makes me just it makes me proud to be um, wearing these vests and to be making these videos for, for you guys, so that you guys don't have to do this. In that you leave it to us to do it to show you why we trust Safe Life Defense into the number one vest company in the whole entire world as far as I'm concerned. Hit the subscribe button, check us out on Instagram, get your vest, save 10%, use our promo code when they have sales and you'll save even more. Thank you so much. See you guys soon.